Hey, it's Todd here, and I'm joined again by Alan, and today we're going to look at how Clockwork helps developers find and fix defects, uh, and specifically we're going to look at the Clockwork tool for command line users. So Alan, what are we looking at here? Yeah, so for those who are uh, hardcore users like using command line and uh, writing um, all their stuff with command line, really what you can do is you can still use Clockwork. We have a command line version of using um, uh, identifying bugs uh, through the command line. Or I want to show you a web-based, uh, not a web-based, a, a GUI that you can actually use that will actually help you uh, find these defects as well. But here what we're doing is I'm starting off with I'm in BIM. So I, I just have, well, GVIM in this case, and I'm, again, making, I check down my code, I'm using VIM, I'm adding any features and functionality. And what happens is, let me ta just uh, tab over here to the actual Clockwork desktop tool. And this is the tool that will actually uh, help you identify these defects. And that's what we have here on the left is just uh, identifying these bug markers here to help you show that there's an actual defect here. So this looks a lot like uh, Eclipse to me. Um, so I noticed that you've got the left-hand icon there, but you also got the right-hand ones. I assume they're related. Yeah, exactly. The the right-hand ones are showing that there's a couple issues here, and these are um, uh, an indication of the entire file, how many errors there are, and also with your summary here at the top. Um, the, While well, the left is just the particular context of where you are in the file. So you've got a couple of issues displayed in the bottom panel. Yeah, so this is actually another way to view it is you have your different issues are listed here. So those same two issues you saw on the right markers are available in a window that you can open up here called the Clockwork Issues window. Uh, how can you uh, can you show me how you can get more information on that defect? Yeah, so selecting any defect, there's first of all, um, it gives you a description of the defect here. And on the right, you'll see there's this more information, which will just bring up your help, which describes this particular issue. In this case, this is what's called an initialized variable. And here's the vulnerability and the risk and an example, so you understand what we're talking about here. So that information is, is a nice input, but is there any other ways that you can use to help you identify what the problem is? Yeah, so the idea here is now, okay, I, I kind of understand what we're going on here with the initialized variable, but let's start also using what we call the trace back here to step through the code, help us understand what is actually causing this, this defect to happen, and that's what's happening here as we step through. It's showing us where that, um, here's where P is actually um, uh, declared, but it's never initialized. And so that's what's something that we want to fix within the code. Now, is the traceback limited to this file only? No, actually, I mean, uh, in this case, it's not a very good example. It's an initialized variable. You can see in some cases where it expands out, it starts going into procedurally into multiple files or functions in your system. Okay, so you've you know, you've got a lot of information, you've figured out that you need to fix it, so why don't you go ahead and fix the problem? Yeah, so in this case, so this is your viewer, it's Clockwork Desktop, but again, you use Vim, so use Vim. So in this case, I simply got to initialize this um, um, P, so I'm going to do that, and I actually knew what this was should have been, and I'm just going to save this file um, by making this change. So now, once you've saved this file, you can uh, you can see that the, uh, the the analysis has been launched again, yet you're still able to continue coding. In right, so this is the really neat thing here is you see the continuous analysis just kicks in by just saving in Vim. But I can continue to add any comments or do whatever I want. It does, obviously doesn't affect. I'm just working in Vim as I, as I normally do. But what you'll notice here is with Clockwork Desktop, it launched it always in the background, just with that simple save as I was working in Vim. So really neat that you can just get your uh, Clockwork to automatically analyze, and of course, what's happened is now so the two issues only have one remaining. No extra steps for the developer. I love that. Uh, now, so you've got one issue left. How can you go ahead? What, what if you don't think that's an issue? Well, yeah, so in this case, I want to address all my issues here. The next stage is I've looked at this, and I may have made the conclusion that, hey, this is not really something I care about, so I'm going to ignore this for now, or mark it as not a problem. Whatever status choice you want, you can see there's multiple uh, choices you have here. And I'm going to say um, um, maybe something we will look at later. And just hit OK, and you can see that this issue actually disappears. you got a clean slate now, but that, that defect isn't gone forever, is it? No. So, in fact, you know, this is a great way for the developer to see that, okay, now I've addressed my issues, I can check in my code. But uh, in, in terms of what they're actually seeing here is this defect actually will uh, get connected in what we call the Clockwork Connected Mode, which is to connect with the system project so you get the, uh, the uh, detailed information to the desktop for accurate uh, analysis and uh, finding these uh, hard-to-find defects. But as well, as that defect is still there. It gets stored in that database. So if I just bring up my defer, you can see it comes right back. Right. Okay. 
Uh, so really the goal here, Alan, is to, to find and fix any of those issues before you actually check in your code and start polluting your code downstream. That's right. That's great. Thanks for the demo, Alan. Uh, for more information, you can check out our website at www.clockwork.com. Thank you.